Hello, everybody. Welcome to Kind of Latvian podcast. Um, my name is Joe. It's Liam. Um, yeah, good to, to be with you guys again. And um, today's topic is Latvian food. Oh, boy. It's a big one. Uh, it's one that is very, very important to, I think, both of us and a um, big part of the culture. So... Yeah, maybe uh, maybe to just start off. What's what's something or some things that you appreciate most about Latvian food? Oh, what I it's a good question. I, I like food in general. Yeah. So it's hard to kind of distinguish between like what do I appreciate most about food and what do I appreciate most about Latvian food. Okay. But I think. Latvian food is, is, for example, there's something homely about makes you feel like home. Hmm. Especially, I don't know, you go into a little cafe or you go into someone's house and it's like, it's a, um, it's a, uh, what, what's the word? Like homemade? A, homemade. <laughs> homemade. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> but, it's, uh, oh, it, it feels, it hits a different spot. It like uh, feels. I think I know what you're saying, but I can't yeah, think yeah. of the word. It's like. Like, yeah, what is that not heavy but home, homely, it's I like guess. filling, filling you know, like, yeah. uh, no, but that's not what you mean. I yeah. know what you mean, I'm not talking it's about it's like you eat it and you're like, oh, yeah, you could sit on a couch and just enjoy life, after. okay, yeah. So, I think there's a sense of uh, a lot of stuff is homemade, which makes you feel Especially. more more at home and comfortable, yeah, yeah. But that's probably that's probably the big thing. Uh, by the way, how about you? What's your yeah, I was thinking the, like, the freshness of things. Mm. I think, like, the, um, in America, a lot, of, we have a lot of preservatives and things like that, but that you can walk out into the garden, pick out a cucumber, pick out some tomatoes, and eat it straight from the garden. That's pretty, pretty cool thing for, you know, not something we do in America. So, mm. I think, yeah, the freshness um also maybe the like in america we really like beef up our food with salt and sugar right and here it's much more like plain and simple but i think in the end it's probably healthier too yeah so, yeah yeah um but yeah the at first it feels like when you know, I moved here i don't know about you but everything was kind of like bland yeah 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 then but then you realize like all that thing that tasted like flavor is probably just like in the end in America is just sugar and like salt so interesting now as yeah the blandness of the food yeah they don't like to use a lot of spices either or different they use pepper Pe- that's pretty pepper, yeah. it's pretty spicy <laughs> yeah black pepper uh, so yeah yeah I don't know huh well that is true we don't really I guess that is part of the history is they, they have their own gardens little gardens and they grow their True. Their produce, where yeah, we yeah. don't really, we don't really have have that. You didn't have a garden growing up. We had a garden, but we didn't grow fruit or veg in there. Yeah. So yeah, vegetables. You think? <laughs> Which vegetables? Vegetables, <laughs> right? Or what? vegetables? <laughs> what are vegetables, Joe? <laughs> yeah, but what? What's the craziest thing you've? eaten in Latvia that's another oh. interesting question <laughs> you breezed over or you breezed over the vegetables a uh, little it's bit okay yeah um the craziest craziest uh, thing, thing. yep uh I I remember I was uh, living in uh, dog pills at the time yeah. with uh, a host family great family mm-hmm. uh, uh lovely mom and their uh, her two boys uh, didn't speak a word of, of English. Latvian didn't really speak. It was just solely Russian. And, and she was, she, she was one of those ladies where you think kind of Eastern European, like she cooks, she, she'll make sure you're fed. Right. And, Love uh, that. there was like, every time I said, look in the program, the program I was in breakfast and dinner was included. Okay. Um, which was great. Yeah. Uh, but then there was. There was times when I went out to eat with my friends and she wouldn't believe that I ate enough. So she would, nice. there would be a, a plate of, a massive plate of food 
when I came home to eat. Oh boy. And you should like I've never been heavier in my life. I went home for Christmas and uh-huh. I was Hip on the verge so of yeah, overweight. So anyway, long story short, so every morning she would have she would go to work and she would leave the breakfast on the on the table yeah. table for me. Yeah. And the first one 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 day a week would be cottage cheese with sour cream and a little bit of sugar on top. Wow. And that was, and then I'm talking a mountain of this stuff, not just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing to dip it in, like a, just a mountain and oh, I'm bad with textures. My gag yeah. reflex was, it was going. So it, that was the first one where I was like, so I would come out of my room and just see it there. I was like, <laughs> okay, let's go. This is going to be a good day. Yeah. So it just, you'd have to get it down here, but it was something, the cottage cheese with the sour cream didn't quite, quite, quite fit for me. Didn't go work um, well together. Yeah. And then one morning she, she made, there was a, there was black bread. So like rye bread. Yeah. Uh, with some onions, like chopped up onions. Yeah. And a bit, bit of gar- uh, garlic. Okay. And little fish. Oh yeah. You know the ones I'm talking about? Yeah. Anch- I think we call them anchovies. Are they, are they anchovies? Or? I don't know if they're exactly yeah. that, but that's the idea. And that was like, oh boy, for breakfast. Like del- delicious, maybe at, in the evening by a camp- campfire, you know, a nice okay. little beverage or something. And you're just, you're munching on that. But yeah. for breakfast, that was like... But you pounded them. Like I, you got them down. You got to do what you got to do. She, w- she was actually there for that breakfast. Oh, and and uh, yeah, so it was like... So it was, yeah, it was... It was tasty, but for breakfast, like I was like, okay, so that's a no, my tummy's not ready for this, but intense start to the day. Yeah, <laughs> a little fishy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you have you had any strange? No. Okay, it's not strange, but different. Yeah. Um, experiences or um, something you you found hard to get get down you. <laughs> yeah, I thought of one time before I lived here. I was coming like <clears throat> as an intern during the summer. Yeah. And helping with camps, and we. We did a camp in city little town, village actually. Yeah, called Satiti. Village, village, or village, <laughs> a small village, and uh, <laughs> you go off right. and uh, you know, very tiny. I'd say very poor. Um, amazing people, great kids there. Mm. We had two weeks with them. Had like an English camp and had like a, a like more like vacation Bible school camp and then um, there was a fam like a, one of the families that they sent like five of their kids to camp couldn't pay for camp mm. but they had us over for um, like a thank you dinner at their oh, place. Wow. yeah and so it was like I mean you know they don't have money right and you just see this amazing table of food and uh, laid out in front of us and it was me I think three other Americans, maybe two Latvians, mm. and and then the family stands around the table and watches you. Doesn't eat, oh, wow. and we're just like eating uh, slowly, mm. like. And then I see like there's certain things that no one's touching. Yeah. Like, and then yeah, just again like knowing the context, it's like we got to get some of this down. Yeah. So there's like chunks of pork or like, uh, yeah, pork meat. And it, it like you still see the pork, like the hair of the pig oh. on it. Oh boy. And it's like the skin, the hair. Oh. And I'm like, no one's touching that. Even the Latvians weren't touching yeah. half the stuff. I'm like, come on. <laughs> you guys <laughs> got <laughs> And And, uh, and again, they're not eating. They're not, they're not even like, sitting and watching us eat. And then I just, I took a few pieces of that. And that's, I took some some of it and I put it on my plate and then I saw it it like rolled over and there was like the skin and that like hair I was like oh boy it's on my plate dude it's yeah. gotta go down <laughs> so I loaded it up with like mustard or something and just swallowed it basically didn't even Do drink you it. it oh my and uh for me at that time I was a lot I would say more picky with food yeah so I was just like please god don't make like help me not throw up yeah in front of them so, so yeah, I was, I think as, I was, as the hair tickles your yeah, tail, like tail. <laughs> going down. and I'm thinking about it and if you just yeah, move on, but I was just sitting there like probably sweating, like, yeah, I just ate like 
pig skin Whoa. and uh for my <laughs> that's yeah that's lovely <laughs> so that's probably one of them for me my friend ate pig ear when he was here that that's a little too intense for me i don't know if you well, that's quite traditional isn't yeah. it like that's is that not like their christmas uh traditional meal or something maybe maybe yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I made that up. Could be. I don't know. Yeah. Pig ears. Yeah. Well, that's interesting that you said that. Like, I feel there is a lot of respect for food um, in Latvia. And yeah. I remember the first, I remember at camps, actually the first years, or, or playing games that involve food. Like a lot of Latvians weren't, weren't keen for that. They sure. were. And, and there's this respect that you don't throw food, you don't drop food. Yeah. And it's, it's a very high valued uh, product. Yeah, yeah it's and, true. And I think that was interesting coming over just from, you know, the the, the more Western world and the wasteful the west. wasteful west. <laughs> yeah, where you don't really think and you just kind of toss things or yeah. And um, and that was uh that was interesting. So we had to change a lot of our games to be like, oh yeah, okay, we can't waste we can't waste food. Yeah. And the second thing that was interesting, what you said there was the need to try everything on the table. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't know about this, but like sometimes, have you ever heard it's rude? So you take, someone gives, so say you have guests come into your house mm -hmm. and they bring some, some kind of food or edible. It's actually rude not to um, serve it. Okay. Uh -huh. That night. Yeah. I, yeah. You're probably more into I don't, that. I, <laughs> I, I, I found that out once because like uh -huh. someone gave me a box of chocolates and you thought to like, keep it oh it's later. for it, yeah it's for me like and then I, th I think they said oh let's you know crack them sure. open I was like oh okay yeah that's fine with me huh. but it's interesting it's almost like if you don't use the food it's also quite quite rude but yeah could be yeah, yeah. but I, I don't yeah and the other thing is I don't I haven't experienced such like hospitality Oh, other than with your parents like <laughs> in a few other cases like the amount like just how generous people are with food here and like amount of time they spend amount of money and and preparation and so when you just see this huge table you know what went into it. it's like yeah i tend to overeat when i go to things like yeah. that and just because it's amazing food but yeah mm. show respect for right does that sound legit or that? I think so. <laughs> I'm respecting the host here. Yeah. By overeating. So. Huh. But yeah, what what would you say if you had to eat one food that, like, you had to eat at breakfast, lunch, and dinner? And, and I think some foods here aren't, like, traditionally Latvian, but that is in Latvian. What, what would be the, like, oh, food that you would... My go-to? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh. That's a good, it's a good question. I think, uh, like automatically, like I, I was thinking, uh, carbonata. Okay. But then I was thinking for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that would be a little heavy. Heavy. You could like do one throughout, cut it up in three and eat oh, it. Oh, uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Spread it out. But it's a bit, yeah. It's probably it's, not the. Yeah, it's heavy. The healthiest. Yeah. Um, probably something like. B has been like um, uh, pancakes, oh, Cla okay. cottage cheese pancakes. Yeah, I think that that would be quite good. A little bit of uh, homegrown jam on top. Oh boy! Yeah. So B has been has grown on you. You can. It is. You can get that. I did. Yeah, yeah. That that year did train me. Huh. Train me well, and uh, I I don't eat it like at home, but yeah. if it's given to me, then you can eat it. Yeah. So. Pancakes or carbonade. Yeah. S explain what carbonade is for people ah. outside of Latvia. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so it's not the Italian dish carbonara. No. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's a big mistake. Yeah. But basically, they, it's a pork chop or a chicken fillet. Yeah. Or, um, what's the other options? I think they'll usually no, there's <laughs> two options. The beef or pork? Maybe, yeah. And they they beat it with a hammer. Yeah. So it's nice, nice and thin, and then they dip it in like an egg and some um, batter, batter, flour. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not. 
and then they fry it up. You you have a cooking show just... though, by the way. What are you saying? You're not a cook. <laughs> oh, I'm not a cook. Yeah. Well, maybe I need to bring back that. And yeah. Make some, you need to make some kind of that <laughs> on uh, your cooking show. Oh yeah, that would be good. Yeah, but yeah, I would probably say say that. Okay. Oh, mm, oh man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I keep getting different ideas in my head, but what's yours? What's uh? What's, what would be your number one lab in? Yeah, <clears throat> I would say like pancakes also, like the crepes style, like oh, the flat mm-hmm, pancakes, mm-hmm. you can put a lot into it. Yeah. Salt, salty stuff, sweet. Either that or rough sauce is like um, my favorite. Thing. Yeah. I, I could eat that. I don't know how long I could eat it every meal of the day, but there's been days where like we go to Anna's parents' house and they have her mom makes wrestles and then we get like a huge oh, container yeah. home we just crush it the next well, that day. could be a little heavy on the tummy yeah it's not healthy it's, yeah it's not the healthiest like uh meal but just, what, what what is it for those maybe who don't know it's kind of like yeah potato salad mixed with <laughs> like yeah you know, like some carrots and peas and then um what else is in there potatoes and so it's like a potato salad dish dish actually yeah a lot of people do it differently but um and then there's option without like any meat in there which is cool too so um are you do you do russell i do i do double yeah it's nice another thing is it takes a lot it's like intense thing it it seems like very simple food but it's a lot of work yeah make it yeah huh so i'd say russell's probably but um I'm about six or oh, five minutes left uh, <laughs> till our battery or cameras shut off. So, in case I'm you a, were wondering, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna fire. What is your favorite thing in Latvia and different types of food? Yeah, oh, like you good quick with fire round? Quick fire, yeah. Are you okay, ready right. for that? Okay, <laughs> yeah. let's see. So, what is a uh, favorite drink? Oh boy. <laughs> Go for it. Honest answer. Honest answer. Uh, let's go for class today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's the morning, so class. Yeah. Okay, fruit. Favorite fruit? <laughs> uh, I would say well, having strawberries are very nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, favorite type of meat in Latvia? Meat. Meat. general meat which is a funny Just, story but yeah yeah um about meat um i have to say like the meat quality is a little different than back home yeah um i i usually play it safe and go for chicken okay L- latvian chicken very right, latvian yeah. chicken um what type of bread you know white bread brown really dark brown dark um brown. i'm a i'm a like whole whole wheat kind of, not whole wheat oh. the one with the seeds you know yeah. makes you feel healthy but yourself. yeah <laughs> probably doesn't do anything but, yeah okay what is your favorite Latvian vegetable <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're gonna have to explain this what's a vegetable <laughs> vegetable sorry did I, I said you vegetable said, yeah you're, you're, you're turning vegetable kind of vegetable. vegetable vegetable yeah um <laughs> I would say, oh, well, I mean, oh, quick fire. We need quick yeah, fire. you're really um, slow on this. Those uh, marinated uh, uh, good, good cucumbers. cucumbers, pickles. They pickles. call them pickles in most yeah. of the world. Yeah, yeah, cucumbers. So that's not really okay. That's is that, is that not marinated a vegetable? vegetable. Okay, we'll move on. You'll accept that. Yeah. So, what is your favorite lime chocolate? Oh, like, treat. Um, they have these really. They used to have these really good ones. It was like, um, nuts. No nuts, but um, uh, what's what's? There's almond, almond <laughs> covered, nut, good. covered in chocolate. Yeah. With uh peppermint in it, and they were like little balls, and they were yeah. oh, but okay. they, I haven't seen them around for a few years. So I've never even so heard of them. Lime nice. bring, bring them back. Well, maybe pastry. What's your favorite pastry in Latvia? Yeah. Um, oh, da, da. I love it. I'm a, I'm a sucker for cinnamon. 
Okay. Like some of their cinnamon pastries cinnamon are rolls. Oh, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Um, but well, poppy seed also. Poppy seed. Okay, I think I know what that is. My my going my going my idea. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, favorite seasoning for food. <laughs> Skip that one. Well, favorite type of fish. Fish. Yeah. Um. I usually eat salmon. Okay. But I don't know if that's Latvian salmon. Probably yeah. not. It's I probably mean, imported. Yeah. Um. Oh, once though I tried. Do you know the the flatfish? Uh -huh. that they smoke and they oh yeah oh i tried that once in a in a small uh uh fishing community and that was that was deadly that that's was, good yeah you did it good job do, do, do i take you to, through the through the list too hit me with them all yeah, right <clears throat> okay ready joe <laughs> drink so i was gonna say like carbonated water it's not something i drink back home it's not Latvian but it's like mm. with like a little bit of flavor in it I'm yeah. a fan of that yeah uh, and you didn't want to say beer yeah <laughs> vomit yeah. is my my thing yeah, uh, yeah if I drink a beer with a meal then it's that that's so. your, your go to yeah nice um <laughs> fruit <laughs> fruit I would say yeah blueberries probably or measures in this like the those tiny Strawberries are pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> vegetables or vegetables? <laughs> Vegetable. Um, yeah, yeah. I'd say like I would, tomatoes out of the garden are pretty hard to mm. eat. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, uh, meat. Chicken shashlik. Like oh, that. oh, that's, 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 that's how I forgot about the shashlik. Come on, how do you forget about the shashlik? Oh. I almost said that for. What I'd want to eat every yeah. day, but it's heavy. So it's it's like a what like it's like a kebab, like a shish kebab. Shish yeah. kebab, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Delicious. Bread. Standard American answer, white bread. Oh yeah. They have like one that it's with like kefir in mixed in or like it's Whoa. like a puffy it's like eating a cloth. Kefir. Kef well it's like you know it's just like more it's not dry. It's like a like. A <coughs> but what is kefir? Kefir is in the states like. A, oh really? You have it like. They're starting yeah. to have it. Yeah, it's like not fermented milk, but it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough to get down here. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I Are can't you like do it? it. No. There was a time before I started not doing lactose that I was like I was I could get it down if I needed to, yeah. but I wouldn't buy it. Oh yeah, you can't do it. No, okay. We used to have teams come over and they they loved it. No, no, they, oh, okay. like it was given to them at school lunch and couldn't do it. No, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, sweets. Um, <clears throat> seal when you cake. Oh, mm -hmm. it's very hard to understand what explain what that is, but it's like a chocolate with some stuff and nuts and like awesome cake so the one with the like the little mer like the meringue on yeah. Top. Oh, yeah yeah so um um uh, pastries pastries I, I agree like cinnamon rolls are cool there's one um uh across the street it's called chocolatine it's, oh. it's actually a french place it doesn't count oh. um there's one Vavari, <clears throat> like a little, uh, what are those guys? Chipmunk. Yeah, it's called Chipmunk down there, and uh, it's it's probably my favorite pastry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why the chocolate? Yeah, serenade is, is oh, my. That's the one with the orange in it, right? Yeah, orange pieces. Nice. Yeah. Uh, fish. Yeah, I was gonna say the same as you. Either salmon, if it's truly from here, I don't know. Or that smoked fish. I don't even yeah. know what type of fish that is. Yeah. But yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, mushroom. No. Oh, no. <laughs> there was. Yeah. Yeah. So, Liam, I know a lot of Latvians love like foraging the, the forest and walking through and picking things. Have you ever had a chance to do that here? Mm. 
No, <laughs> not for not for edible things. Oh, okay, just, just walking. Yeah, just walking and uh, well, one time we had to like um, pick uh, uh, pine cones for. Oh, for camping, I remember. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, which you know, it was actually to smoke the fish. Oh. Um, yeah, it was for the the owner of the camp place and. But no, never, never picked any mushrooms. Never picked any berries. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm a bit of a <laughs> uh, a noob when it comes to to that kind of stuff. But but yeah, I mean, could could you see yourself getting into that or? It's strange. You kind of see. Well, the mushrooms. It's like literally right after the rain. It's it's kind of like cold weather. It's not very nice. Yeah. And you see see people just like. You see all the cars out the side of the road, and next yeah. you know you see them all in the forest. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't see myself getting into that. Mm-hmm. Um, I also don't want to pick around mushroom and you know. That's the thing. Kill myself. Yeah. Like they're pretty, they're pretty deadly. I think you need to know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, whereas you know, we, I brought, I was brought up with you know the standard mushroom. Yeah. Like <laughs> just one mushroom. Yeah. I think probably the what is it? Champagne. 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 Champions, <laughs> yeah. Um, so no, I don't really berries. Yeah, like you used to, yeah. But the thing is, like picking berries back home, you go to a berry farm and you you pick the berries. Oh, from, okay. From there, whereas here it's like the wild. It's a wild west again. Yeah, wild west, wild east. Yeah. Um, but no, have you ever have you ever tried it or? Yeah. So again, one thing that like amazes me is that. Uh, I'm trying to think. No, uh, yeah, we went a few years ago, and like every uh, mushroom I found was like, oh no, I was like, no, that's poisonous. No, oh. that's poisonous. No, that's poisonous. <laughs> like, how do oh, you boy. know? And that like Latvians like no, like they just know. Yeah, how how and when you learn that information? It's amazing to me that people are like, these are poisonous. These are really good. These are kind of okay. There's like a whole scale or of like mushrooms, and I don't know if it's like you're born with that information right. here. Yeah, it's in your DNA. Yeah. So how and when people learn that? That's kind of interesting to me. Huh. But yeah, it's like the timing. It's similar. Like yeah, it never seems to be a good time to like run through the forest. And um, but I I could see myself when I get old getting into. Oh yeah. That. Yeah. So as your yeah as your hobby maybe yeah yeah, yeah. So. interesting huh yeah but uh and gardening what do you think about there's a lot of gardening there going is. on here I, I love it but again i've never had a chance to yeah to do it uh-huh and at the moment i wouldn't say it's like on the top 10 of my list of things to do but okay yeah. <laughs> you know if the opportunities there yeah sure why not but yeah yeah but it's uh it seems to be like I do love the aspect of of independence in that and yeah. like okay we've got our garden we can actually have our fruit and veg or whatever yeah yeah and uh the, you, what <laughs> veg what is a veg <laughs> oh, boy. oh boy do we, yeah. do, do we explain this explain or? it go it's yeah. been t- we've joked about we've joked, yeah so I guess like we, we love it um the Latvians sometimes have um, difficulty, I guess you could say, pronouncing the letter V. Okay. In, in, example, vegetables. Yeah. And it comes out as a W. Yeah. So, you know, vegetables or... Volleyball. Volleyball or village. Village. You know, um, which is strange because other times they say it absolutely fine. Yeah. And it's just certain words that they, that Some it reason. comes out as a W. Yeah. Which is, you know, they speak so good in English anyway, we can, we can pick one or two yeah. things to... Are, are we, we sound very much like that I'm sure all yeah. the time speaking about me so. <laughs> oh boy yeah and people actually people actually said they want us to do an episode in Latvian which is horrific that's gonna be horrible can you imagine our conversation <laughs> just be like, uh, yeah but those I want to talk about the pancakes that Anna your wife made this morning sure. like what were they courgette pancakes they're what is kabatsis yeah that's like, um, man. Courgette? No, what's the... Eggplant? Egg, no, it's, it's close to that. 
Oh, man. Zucchini. Zucchini. Oh, yeah. So I make some zucchini and make pancakes out of it. Somehow. That was delicious. It's delicious. Yeah. Sounds horrible, but yeah. it turned out, turns out great. Yeah, so, so that was a... Is that... That's probably a lot of in... A lot of, no? I don't know. They like their zucchinis. Yeah, well, that's it's zucchini month. I don't know if you <laughs> zucchini month. You don't get a reminder every year no. that in your email, it's like the month when we inherit like zucchini every day. Like I, I don't, I like zucchini, but I can't eat it twice a day for like a month straight. Oh, so, okay. but Anna can just eat it anytime, any day. So super thankful we have people that give us like their produce. And yeah, stuff, but yeah. it's like. I hit a limit where I'm like, I no longer want to see this food right. in my yeah. life for a while. So you, this is your month, and then after that, you have eleven months to yeah to rest. Yeah. So okay. Well, it feels like it's like six months, but it's probably like <laughs> a month of like zucchini. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I again like seeing how much work her family puts into the garden, and mm. like we just get produce from that it's pretty incredible yeah yeah that's right um, they do all the hard work to put pull yeah. out weeds and we just so i say that like jokingly but super thankful for the food we get from especially from her family so. yeah oh, nice but uh, i would say potatoes are a big deal here oh boy. yeah um big part of food culture here seems to be it's a, a homely homely food yeah potatoes yeah but what's your favorite way of eating potatoes? What's um, uh, <laughs> here's a funny story. So once I recently actually I made the mistake of trying to order, uh, diving yes. Okay. Like I I, I ordered, Dobbins, oh. gifts, <laughs> which <laughs> nice. they found hilarious. So I I ordered like a potato a, like a chicken a chicken with gifts type thing. It was like. And uh, yeah, the waitress. Yeah. And she said, "Would you she like some vegetables?" Like that? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, "Yeah, we're eating. We're, we're good. good. Let's go." <laughs> <laughs> so, but those little, uh, those little like, not wedges, but like um, they're like thin. I would call them wedges. Wedges, like, yeah, the thin ones. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Not yeah. like the thick wedges, but yeah. the thin. I like those. They're pretty good. Oh, um, pretty? Yeah, but fries, obviously, like yeah, for, for, come on, for easy it. answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. Like, I like it almost any way. Again, I have like a limit. I can't eat it every day. Potatoes. Yeah. Like, I don't know why, but, but the boiled potatoes, I cannot really like, I can eat them, but they're like, they're not, it seems like the worst way to prepare potatoes. It's like, it's so bland and, uh, plain. Yeah. But yeah, potatoes are, I think a big part of most meals like yeah lunch and dinner it seems like but and then what are your feelings about dill, dill. talk to me about dill this is everywhere it. i feel like this is probably one of the biggest stereotypes yeah. for latvians right yeah or about latvian food is yeah. dill yeah i i don't people make a fuss like foreigners make a fuss about it yeah but i i've either come accustomed to it or yeah. it never really bothered me okay um, so I don't have much to say about it. It is on a lot of stuff. Yeah. There's a, uh, a crisps. No, chips. No, uh, crisps. Crisps? Yeah, crisps. that's cute. <laughs> a flavor dill. Yeah. Which is like... Chips a, with that a dill flavor. Yeah. That would yeah, probably yeah. not sell much in, right? outside yeah. of this country. Yeah. My mom loves them, which is... Oh, uh, yeah? But, yeah. Huh. But, um, so, yeah, dill, yeah. I don't have much to say about dill. Like, it's there. Yeah, it's okay. How about, how about you? Are you... Are yeah, crow dill or yeah, or, I'm similar. I, I don't taste it anymore. I see it on the plate and it doesn't register as like seasoning. But yeah, when it was everywhere in the beginning, it was this like, why do they put this on everything? But the green monster. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah, and I I wasn't very like keen on the taste. So, but again, it's I just get used to it and I don't really notice it anymore. Yeah. So yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big one here, I'd say. Um, yeah. Huh. What do you, what do you, anything else you think about food? It's, it's a big topic. It is a big topic. Talk to, ton about, but. I was thinking about class. I mentioned class earlier. Do you like it? 
The drink? That was the awesome. One. That also grew on me. I didn't yeah. like it at first. And can you describe it? Like, what is it? Like, everyone's like, what is it like? What does it taste like? Like, yeah. do you have a, a way of describing it to, to people? I describe it as being like liquefied raisins. Oh, I'm drinking ooh. liquefied. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Yeah. It's like a bread dish. Um, yeah, it's like this weird, like, kind of cola type thing. Yeah. Like up that lane of, of drink, a huh. carbonated drink, but it's it's non-alcoholic, kind of tastes similar to beer, bread, yeah. something, but... Right. Right. You, so you can do that right? it grew on me as well yeah but at the start I just like to be fair I just wanted to fit in so yeah I'll drink it yeah yeah, yeah. I like it and then actually it, it did I enjoy it now yeah which, which uh, some people say like it's similar to root beer which I I don't I don't see I that. don't see that but I could get how, if you have no or Dr. Pepper even like mm, yeah yeah but yeah it's, it's an interesting one yeah well, we've, we, yeah, we've talked a lot about food. Uh, is there anything else you want to, to mention or food-wise? Uh, I mean, there would be a lot more we can mention, but no, I think, yeah. I think we're good with that. So. I think, I was thinking, if, if, you're, if you're watching this or listening and you're like, ah, oh, what, do, what do Liam and Joe think about this food or have they tried this in Latvia? Then again, touch them. Maybe we could, uh, we could even do a little episode where we get that food. And we try it for the first time if we haven't tried it. Yeah. Almost like a food review type thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would um, be interesting to do. So get in touch, challenge us with your Latvian foods and uh, we'd love to, to try it out sometime. So yep. yeah, but I think that's, that's it for today. Bring some of the, the time, the time has flown by another yeah. episode down and please um, thank you for listening again. I think we're still, we're still trying to get this uh, this going, and uh, yeah, we just uh, we appreciate uh, your support. Please let us know if if you do have any other topics you'd like to hear us uh, speak about, or um, or if you do have any uh, recommendations, what we could we could do better, or, or uh, <laughs> don't ask that. You're gonna have an inbox full of recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but once again, like, subscribe, follow. Yep, and. Be, be kind. kind. Stay kind of lot. Stay man. kind of lot, man. Till next time. All right. All right.